Okay, boys, this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. Go find yourself a crime scene. <laughs> All right, Homer's here. Gigi ran away. Homer, what's up? You ready for, to make dinner? Yeah, it's time for the eatings, huh? All right, so I'm about to start cooking dinner, and tonight we're going to have vegetarian barbecue strips. And yes, it's made with gluten. You, you know, you can try and cut out the gluten. It's hard when you're a vegetarian, though, because that's like the meat. It's called wheat meat. So either Mark's not going to eat it, or he's just going to have to control himself and not eat, like, a lot of it. <laughs> but anyway, in this bowl, I have uh, Vital Wheat Gluten Flour, two and two-thirds cups, a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I've shown you guys these things before. Uh, if you're interested in making the recipe, um, you can pretty much search it on Amazon and I'll show you what the products are. They're not all available in like the regular supermarket. Some of them you might have to go to the um, health food store and try and find them. But you're probably not going to make it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. And the secret ingredient, a quarter cup of white wine. Right, Ramona? Yeah. But Charlie, oh, oh, no, stop, Pin stop, 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 stop. Pinot Grigio oh, we're going to use. So a quarter cup of that. And I think it's I one, one and three quarter cup of water. So we're going to get that all mixed together. Then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. All right. So I've sliced it up because it's kind of like Play-Doh um, into like that big. <laughs> Probably, you know, you flatten it out a little bit after you cut it up too and it ends up looking like that. Thank you, Sean. Sean is so chatty today. It's driving me up the wall. Um, I'm lightly browning it in the fry pan here. I've never made seitan this way before. Usually what I do is I steam it first or I put it in the uh, simmer water first and then I brown it. So this recipe said to brown it first and then put it in the water. Over here I have water mixed with uh, beef seasoning. You noticed it's spelled B-E-A-F. Pasta. No, Sean, we're not having pasta tonight. We're going to have barbecue. Okay? <laughs> you love Homer? Yeah. Yes. Alright, so I've got, it's basically fake bouillon, fake beef tasting bouillon. I guess it's vegetable. So after this gets browned off, I'm going to simmer it in the water over there, aka bouillon, for about 30 minutes. And then uh, we'll do the next step. Alright, so they've been simmering for about 30 minutes and they've sucked up all of the uh, fake beef juice. And now I'm going to transfer them to a bowl and put some barbecue sauce on them. Alright, so you can see that they pretty much look like little uh, pork cutlets. All puffy and nice and juicy looking. So use your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using Hunt's Honey Mustard Barbecue Sauce. I'm going to slather it all over there. And I'm going to let it sit for about half an hour. I'm going to go jump on the treadmill. And when I get back, we're going to do the last step. Oh, hi. <laughs> I just got off the treadmill. So these have been sitting for about 45 minutes now. And the final step is not extremely necessary, but I like to do the final step because it takes it to a whole nother level. What we're doing is browning off the barbecue sauce so that it gets all caramely and the sugar, you know, gets all delicious and crispy. So here it is in the pan. And you just want to do it like a minute on each side just so that it gets like it was on the barbecue grill. So we're going to check back. Mark is going to taste it, aren't you, honey? Yes. Yes. All right. So we'll check back when these are done and he will tell you the verdict. All right. Tasty tasters be here. Here's the finished product. Give it a go. Can you tell me what it is? It's supposed to be like barbecued uh, meat. <laughs> but it's not real meat, obviously, because I would not be giving my vegetarian child real meat. What do you think, kids? <laughs> oh, that's not a good face. I don't know. Let me see. It, the texture. It's a little rubbery. A little rubbery. Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> All right then. You tried. <laughs> Don't make this. It sucks. I guess I should stick with my old recipe. I tried a new recipe. I used no. to do one the of these before. The flavor didn't get in there either. No. Oh. It's not as barbecuey as it smells. Yeah. yeah. You, you know. In there, in the mix. That's because I tried a different recipe. The one that I usually use is by Everyday Dish. And that is the one where you put the paprika and the smoke flavor and everything in the actual seitan. So, yeah, I'm not making this one again. So don't even think about it. So don't make the one with the plain That's seitan. That's why we have all the mashed potatoes. Yay, mashed potatoes! You bury the seitan and the mashed potatoes. Yeah, well these cats are hungry too. They want their dinners. Well, they can't have that. And the dogs too, so. I, I'm sorry I ruined dinner. You tried! <laughs> Alright, till next time. Much love.